Well, that went so well. So I just signed up for TSA pre-check. Oh my goodness, that was such a better experience. This wonderful older woman helped me out and you know, she was like, okay, we have to go through, you know, your background, you know, this is your previous name was a boy's name. And I was like, yes, that's my name. These are your previous addresses. Yes, this is where I was born. Yes, you know, going through all of that. So, you know, she knew that I had a boy name in the past or like a boy name, right? And she didn't think twice of it. She was just like, okay, this is a previous name of yours. Great, you know, moving on. And she was like, so kind and respectful. It was so nice to be treated as a human because when I go through the TSA checkpoint, I'm so often dehumanized. I'm so often asked to, you know, be treated as a man or be patted down by a man, be scanned as a man. This experience that I had over the weekend with TSA, this was one of the best experiences I've had, which is saying a lot because it wasn't good. I was disrespected. I was not treated fairly. But I have, you know, I've had horrible experiences with TSA. I have been groped and harassed and assaulted. I've been asked to strip in order to prove that I'm not trying to smuggle something through the airport simply because my body is not a cisgender body, which is absolutely ridiculous. But I'm so thankful that, you know, this woman here was so helpful and so kind to, you know, believe me when I tell her, when I told her who I am. And I told her about my situation because she was like, why are you doing TSA pre check? And we were just, you know, small chat or whatever so I told her my situation and she was appalled she was like oh my gosh I'm so sorry that happened to you like I'm so glad you know that you're standing up for yourself because you deserve to do that and that made me feel really good I was like you know what you're right this is why I'm here like it sucks to have to you know take extra measures in order to feel safe I shouldn't have to tuck I shouldn't have to you know sign up for TSA pre-check which is $85 for five years so like in the grand scheme of things, that's not that much money to me. You know, I can afford to do that. But so many transgender people cannot. Transgender people are the most marginalized. We have the highest homeless rates, the highest unemployment rates, the highest discrimination rates, the highest murder rates of black trans women. So, you know, I'm thankful for the privileges that I have. I'm very thankful, you know, to be, you know, cis assuming in moments like this. I'm thankful to have my documents corrected. I'm thankful to now be signed up for TSA pre-check for the next five years. And I'm also incredibly thankful to be having a conversation with TSA headquarters tomorrow. So I'll definitely, you know, I don't know how my conversation is going to go and I don't know exactly what TSA headquarters can actually do to create some positive change, but I'm hoping that this conversation starts more conversations that does lead to change because we're in a new administration. It's a new White House. So, you know, we have some really powerful LGBTQ plus people that are going to start creating positive change and make it safer to travel while trans, but also just be safer to exist in the world while being trans. We just want to exist. You know, we just want to live our lives. Lives. We just want to contribute to society. We need the Equality Act to pass as well. You know, if we had national protection against discrimination, I think that we would see a lot more policy changes because transphobia is a systemic problem. In all places of power, we are, you know, being discriminated against and attacked. And we need the same rights as every other human. Trans people are deserving of existing in public. Trans people are deserving of respect. Trans people are deserving to travel safely. Trans people are deserving to have their documents reflect their true identities. Trans people are deserving of affordable, easy access to health care where we can, you know, transition if we want to. I want to thank everyone so much for all of the support and love that I've received. I also want to thank everyone so much who has shared their stories with me. I received thousands of messages, emails, comments from people letting me know, you know, their own experiences with TSA and how horrible it's been. I've had a lot of people, you know, thanking me for sharing my story because together sharing our voices and standing up for what's right and sharing, you know, the harm that we've had to endure, it will create positive change. We're in this together and I'm not going to stop fighting. I love you so much. Thank you so much for listening.